Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Microsoft Store error code 0x80073CFB that says that the provider package is already installed and reinstallation of the package was blocked. Check the AppX deployment server event log for details. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be if you're using a Microsoft-based account in order to access Windows, I recommend opening up the search menu, type in store, best match to come back on Microsoft Store, open that up. If you are signed in, you want to go select your profile icon and sign out and then sign back in and see if that potentially helps resolve the problems. You might be signed out or you might be signed in there's some sort of issue with verification. So like I said, I recommend signing out and then signing back in. Something else we can look into as well, open up the search menu, type in WS Reset, best match, come back with WS Reset, go ahead and open that up, and give it a moment here. And it should relaunch the Microsoft Store, and then try and proceed with the update of the application or the download, and hopefully I should have resolved the issue. Something else we can look into as well, open up the search menu, type in Troubleshoot, best match, come back with Troubleshoot Settings, go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, select Other Troubleshooters. And then go down underneath Other, and you want to select the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter and the Run button. And then I'd recommend following along with the on-screen prompts of whatever it suggests here. And again, you can see in our case, it just wanted us to sign in with Microsoft account. And hopefully if that was the only issue you were experiencing in your case, like I said earlier, make sure you sign into the Microsoft Store. Something else, go underneath Apps and then select Apps and Features on the right panel. In the Apps List field, go ahead and search for Store. Best match on the right side should come back on Microsoft Store. Select the three-dot icon next to it and select Advanced Options. Scroll down, and then underneath Reset, if the app isn't working right, we can try to repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select Repair. And then if the app's data still isn't working right, so let's say you've closed out of here and you're still having the problem, you can select the second option here, where it says if this app still isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Select Reset. And once that's done, I would recommend closing out of here and then restart your computer. And now if you attempt to launch the Microsoft Store and then proceed with the download of whatever application you were having that issue with, hopefully your issue has been resolved. One final thing we can do here as well is open up the search menu, type in CMD, best results should come back of command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, then a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and then I would suggest restarting your computer one more time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.